Hey there, bestie, and welcome to another episode of Little Witch in the Woods. I hope you are doing well today. Uh, first things first, we need to go get some much-needed ingredients so that we can get rid of those giant-ass vines. That of which includes this. <laughs> I got some of their little fur. Hello. Come back here. Damn you. Okay, well I got it from two of them, so I feel like that's not the worst. I know there's a bug in here. Hello, little bug. We still gotta get our little uh, butterfly net. Get this. All right, well we got some of what we need. Let's go see if we can't find any more of these little bunny rabbits so we can steal their fur by pinching their cute little cheeks. Because, oh, I see them. Okay. I'm gonna start here. Block them from getting over here. Come here. No, no, no. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, it's a bug with the, the... It's got... I just realized that's what it is. It's something that's covered in the weeds. Hang on, let me help you. I want to help you, please. Let me help you. Don't, 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 no, 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 no. Don't be scared of me. I'm trying to help you, please. Oh. oh, there's something here. Oh, that's not a weed. Well, hello there. What was that? I left something behind. A rittering. Rittering? That's a cute name. Why was it buried there? Someone could have buried it, or it could have been sleeping. You're going to have to be more specific than that. There's not much that's known about Ritterings, well, other than good fortune if you find one. Yeah, I guess it did leave behind a gift of sorts. Try to spot them while you're wandering around. Okay, I'll look for more. Well, uh, what did it leave me? Uh, oh, I don't remember how to get to my inventory, and I don't have my page pulled up. So, you guys are gonna have to give me a second. S, it's S. Okay, uh, grab. But what is it though? What is it though? Uh, okay. Well, I don't know. But I do know we can get back to the house and try to get... Oh, hello there. Give me your little chubby little cheeks. Wait, cancel. There we go. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> so there's these creatures with that are covered in the in the stuff. Okay, so I've got to figure out how to get it off of them. Don't be scared of me. I promise I'm here to help. Come here. Don't run away from me. Oh. Pumpkin terrier fur. Oh, so I'm getting fur from them. I thought they were covered. Okay, maybe they just are supposed to have that on them. Oh, hell, I don't know. Well, not bad, not bad. Okay, let's go back to the house and we should make some more of the weed removing stuff. All right, let's pop in here, go downstairs, and then we can go explore more. Okay. Um, let me check my grimoire. Uh, weed terminator potion. Squishy fur extract, witch flower extract. So we need to get extracts of both. Let's do this. Oh, my inventory is full. Wurpsle derpsle. Wait a second. We can deal with this. Uh, cancel. I want to move all of these. Move all. Move all. I don't know what to do with that. Uh, we'll move that. Alright. Let's go get some extracts. Activating. Manufacturing. I love the noises. These are so, like, I don't know. Like, such pleasant little noises in the game for... The extract, I love this. It says something pleasing to my little brain. 
I have a very simple brain. <laughs> I'm a simple person, okay? I don't know what they mean by extract of this, but sure. It's just fur, but sure. Let's extract it. I totally understand that. All right, let me put these away. Move on. Okay, let's go make some of the weed stuff. Okay, it's at level four as it should be. It's set to noster. We'll do both of those. And yeah, we can probably begin crafting. You cannot use this item. Huh? The what? Oh, I hold it. That's right. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's make a little bit more. Well, oh, why does it look like that? I'm concerned that it wasn't right. Why does it look like that? I mean, it came out and it was like, you got the weed terminator potion. Maybe it's dark because I can't use it right now. Maybe that's what it is. Never mind. I feel better. All right, we've made three. So I think that's a good thing. All right, time to head back out and get into more shenanigans. As you do, as you do. Let's grab this little crab apple. Always can use some food around, yeah? All right, let's go clear out some of the places where we were having issues. Oh, this is one that I can't go to, I think. If we go up here, though, maybe it's further up. Actually, I'm gonna go gather some things. We got some witch flower across here. Gather that. Uh, here we go. I don't know if these are good things to be grabbing, but we're gonna grab them anyway. All right. Let's head up here. Here we go. What the heck was that thing? Uh, okay. Let me figure this out. Grab. Okay. Oh, I thought I threw it on myself only at first. Okay, 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 okay. Let your boy in. Let your boy in. Why can't I get in? That was weird. Okay. Remove this and we should be good to go. What's here? Oh, I'm trying to interact with it, but it won't let me. There's like something here. What? I can't interact with it. Nothing's happening. Huh. There's like a s little fox trapped in a thing down there. Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm coming. I don't want you to die. Be terrible. Oh, I can't go over there? Oh, yes, I can. I'm coming. Poor little fella. Hi. Well, Virgil, there's someone stuck in the spider web. I think he's lost consciousness. Is he even alive? I don't know. Gah! They woke up! Who? A Melly, an apprentice witch. A witch? Wow, this is my first time seeing an apprentice witch. It's my first time seeing someone caught in a spider web. My name is Rubrum. Murber. <laughs> Sorry, it reminds me of Red Rum. <laughs> Murber. <laughs> I live in the village with my grandma, but now I'm stuck in a big spider web. He doesn't seem to understand the gravity of his situation. <laughs> a big spider web means there's a big spider near and by. Gasp. You be quiet. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'll help you down. You have to be careful when dealing with spiderweb, Sully. It looks pretty strong. One wrong move, and you'll get stuck in it yourself. What do I do? What do I do? Maple herb works best against insects. Just one maple herb should be enough. I have some maple herb. Like this? Oh! <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, probably. Can you walk? Okay, then let's go to the witch's house together. Oh. I'm gonna bring my little friend to my witch house. Cute! Oh, there's a way down here. Okay, let's take them to the house. Carefully and safely. 
I've made a little, a tiny little friend here. <laughs> what do this do? Uh, where are you going? <gasps> no, Rob Rum, are you okay? Are you hurt? I can't walk because my legs hurt. You're probably up there for too long. Then I'll give you a hug. I'll give you treatment at the witch's house. Aw. Poor little Rub Rum. That makes me so sad. They just like collapsed. Oh, why does it have like a little... They have little sprouts on their heads. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to... I'm going the... Am I going the wrong way? Oh, this one does something weird too. Okay, wait, we gotta stop. First and foremost, we gotta help our little friend here. And then we can we can get into shenanigans. <laughs> Poor little rub rum. <laughs> I feel so bad. Little rub rum is kinda fucked up. <laughs> Isn't it heavy? Of course. Really? I just stop talking. Let's keep going. <laughs> Fucking vigil is like, you weak as shit. We're doing the best we can, okay? Our village is just a little further from here. But you cannot pass through now because of the prickly vines. Let's go to the witch's house for now and find a way. Yeah. Poor little rub rum. Sad. We're here. Wow, witch's house. Thanks. Alright. Uh, well. How's your leg? It still hurts a bit. I have to hurry up and get back to the village. If not, Grandma will scold me. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get rid of that huge prickly vine. Whoa, really? I'll make sure to get you back to the village. Don't worry. Okay, thanks. Oh, before that, I should treat your leg first. Rub rum, wait here a moment. Right. What am I? Am I supposed to make something? Uh, okay. Let's see. I, they taught us how to make candy. So, let's, uh, what is it? What is it? Okay. The healing candy. Witch flower extract and merple. Merple? <laughs> uh, maple herb extract. Okay. So, let's go get some merples. <laughs> oh, I need to do that. Why do that? Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's get some marble. Uh, cancel. Let's move these. And we needed witch flower, which we have two. I thought I had more. But maybe we used it all on the... Okay. No, that would make sense. Let's do some witch flower extract first. I love this sound. And we'll do this. We'll do some more. I love the little sounds. It's so cute. Get a little bit more. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Now to make what we're supposed to make. I believe it was level four. Oops, I am not meaning to do that. And uh, lethal direction to the right. I don't know which one means to the right. I'm guessing that. Oh man, hoping I'm doing this right. <laughs> Yay! We made it right! Okay. <laughs> I was stressing. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> A little nervous. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Come here, Rubrum. Would you like to try this? Whoa, what is this? Is this candy? Yeah, it's a candy to heal your leg. Wow, thanks. It looks delicious. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, it just tastes awful. It's good for your health. How's your leg? Well, I think I feel better. Thanks, Ellie. The candy tastes awful. So, how did you get caught in the spider web? I just came to the forest to play for a little bit, but time flew by and by then the giant prickly vines were covering the way. I was looking for another path when I heard the sound of a train. Oh, it must have been the one I was riding. I went towards the train and a strange bird suddenly started chasing after me. 
It must have been that bird, not the train. It was that bird. I went into a deep place as I was running away. Then I found a treasure map and got caught in a spider web as I was trying to pick it up. Treasure map? I saw a picture of a skeleton through the bushes. I saw in a children's book that it's a sign of pirates leaving their treasures. Shall we go check? What about the gigantic prickly vine? Oh well, we can't do much about it yet. <laughs> God damn it, Ellie. <laughs> it wouldn't hurt to try. Let's go. Ellie, can I follow you too? Wouldn't it be better to rest a little more? I'm bored since I'm home all the time. What do you say? Okay, fine, but be careful. All right, sure. It's late, but okay. All right, let's go. Come on, Rubrum. Probably shouldn't run, actually. Probably get Rubrum hurt. Red rum. Oh, I think it's a witch's flower growing. Pluck it! We plucked it! We plucked it real good! Alright, let's go up this way so Rub Rum doesn't get any bright ideas about climbing vines like me. Alright, let's see. Alright, Rub Rum said they saw a treasure map. So let's go check this out. I feel like it's a little late, but I think we can manage. What's she here? Oh, what is this? Is this something I can grab? Investigate. Huh? You don't have the right chalk. Uh. Well? Shit. I don't know what we're supposed to- wait. Where he was caught in the spider web. Investigate the bushes. Well, I tried to, but nothing happened. Oh. A boom potion! I even went to a hidden library because I wanted to make it. I'm so lucky to find this here. They don't normally use a skeleton design as a symbol of luck, right? The important thing now is that I have something to blow things up with. And also, something to blow up. You're super excited. Then shall we go try it right away? Let's do it. <laughs> I miss this feeling. Do you plan to destroy everything in top... On, to on the top of getting into trouble. Hey, what do you make me for? Boom potion? Don't you feel the almighty power just from the name? When I'm in trouble, throw it. Break it if you can't have it. Sometimes it takes boldness to overcome a crisis. Don't you think it's strange that a boom potion was dropped in that secluded forest? Someone might have hidden it thinking it that it's treasure like rub rum. Or, something might have sp or someone might have spilled it. The boom potion? <sighs> I don't know. The important thing is, now it that... The boom potion is in my hands. Go, boom potion! Wow. It won't even budge. It must be stronger than the secret door in the principal's office. What are these fragments coming out of it? Huh? Where? Around your feet. Uh. Look at this, Virgil. It's a prickly vine fragment. It seems to have worked a little bit, but the vines appear to have grown back pretty fast. Might be able to figure out exactly what these prickly vines are. These prickly vines aren't even in the codex. How are you going to figure that out? Well, oh, when a person living around here knows something, let's show the fragment to someone and ask him about it. Well, we only uh, know one person. So, well, I guess we can ask Rub Rum. Hello, Ellie. Here we go. Is this a prickly vine fragment? Fascinating. Do you happen to know something about it? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Personal stories. Ellie, what kind of tea do you like? Uh, aromatic. I like tea that has a fragrant aroma. Bird flower tea is a nice arom aromatic one. Did they purposely misspell that? Oh, I think it will smell good indeed. Hey, Aria. Welcome. Do you need anything? What do you got for sale? Oh, I don't have any items. Oh, okay. Uh, personal stories. Do you think having a lot of money makes you happy? <sighs> this is a hard one to answer. I'm gonna say no, I think, for my character, but no, yes and no. Yes, in that financial stability can take away a lot of the problems that you face as a person, um, but you can't actually 
secure happiness with money, but you can get financial stability and that will make you happy. But I'm gonna say no for now. I don't think money and happiness have anything to do with each other. You can buy happiness with money. Really? Deep in the jungle, an old man covered in old, odd trinkets was selling happiness. Was one of those a wooden image of a monkey, perhaps? Ellie. <laughs> sure. For that damn naturalist, that trash was happiness. Oh, sure. Some people can buy happiness with money, but some people can't. So don't worry about having a lot of money or not. You can be happy either way. Thank you! Uh, let's ask about this. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I don't know anything about prickly vines either, but I have something that might be helpful. Something that might be helpful? Ta-da! A universal product appraisal machine. Wow, what's that? It's a tool made by some witch. With the power of the moon, of the moonstone embedded here, you can find out the identity of an object. Really? Then hurry up and try it. I don't usually do this for free, but since you lifted my curse, I'll do it for free this time. Wow, that's great! All right, here it goes. Oh, 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 what? The prickly vine fra fragment has disappeared. That's strange. Why did it disappear? Maybe because of a grudge against nature? No, that's not possible. This soul just shoots moonlight and analyzes the reflected light. There are no plants that just get killed by moonlight, right? A plant that gets killed by moonlight? It seems like something's coming up in my mind! I think so. Think, Ellie, this is something you learned in school. Oh, I remember now! Avoiding the moon, they're plants that get killed by moonlight. That's right, this prickly vine definitely avoids the moon. That's why it died in the moonlight. Hello, we got the moon butterflies. I think I've also heard of plants like that. I'm glad the tool is working fine. Thank you. I think I can get rid of the prickly vines now. No one, the one that should be thankful. Work hard. Uh, no, I think we're good. See you next time. Well, that means we can get butterflies. Oh, wait, hey. Hello, Ellie. Uh, okay, actually, no. So, okay. Wow, they really are big. Okay, I know, we need the, we need a, a bug's net. Uh, maybe... Search the drawers in the witch's house to find information. Oh, okay, that's what we gotta do next. We can do that. We certainly, certainly can. Hmm. I still wanna figure out what to do with that well. Uh, grab this. My little character is so cute! So cute. Alright. Let's go see. Alright. The moon flower. People have died from reading too many books, haven't they? So much for all that confidence. I actually have a disease that kills me if I read too many books, you know. Stop complaining and keep searching. You've only gone through three books so far. Only? Come on, look at the size of these books. It's too much work. Can't you read instead? You sure you want to do that? Of course, we're friends, right? Looks like the next few lines are about the moonflower. What? Really? Let's see here. Bitter grape tea tree. Bitter grape tea tree! That's the tree we saw at the summer, the glowing one. The glow came from the bloom moon butterflies. Hmm, the tea leaves, blah blah blah, tastes like grapes, strong bitter taste. Oh, here it is. It is also famous for its flowers, the moonflower. Moonflower! So it was here! It gathers moonlight most of the time, and on a moonless night, the moonflower blooms. A moonless night. But the tree at the summit had blue moon butterflies flying around. So the moonflower couldn't bloom because of the moonlight emitted by the blue moon butterflies. So if we get rid of the blue moon butterflies, the moonflower will bloom. Yeah, it's a commonly used method back in Lucerne or to Gather moonlight with the blue moon butterflies, shoo them away, and collect the moonflower. Alright, let's get rid of them. Make lunar's oil and remove the prickly vines. But what do we use to get rid of the butterflies? They don't like sunlight, so a sunlight potion should work. All right, let's make a sunlight potion and get rid of those butterflies. Um, how we do that? <laughs> uh, let's go to potions. Okay. 
we need witch flower, maple herb, squishy chub fur. I don't know if we have any more squishy chub fur. Hmm. We might be in trouble. Uh, we have one. So let's grab the squishy chub fur. Move that over. Got some witch flower extract. We have some. Oops. Uh. Move and move. And move. Okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Where is the potion? Witch flower, maple herb, squishy chub. I think we've got all those. Let's activate to make. Did I mess up? I slightly did. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay. That doesn't look like the extract, though. Oh, we need a second one. Damn. I don't think the squishy chubs are out. Oh, uh, Rubrum, what are you doing? I don't think they're out right now, so I'm thinking we're gonna have to go to sleep for the night. Aw, oh, man. Alright, I guess we'll take our little booty cheeks to bed and end the episode here. Alright. Let's go to bed. Me and my little dreams. Okay, let's save the game. Well, besties, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this episode. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!